I just unboxed my new coach bag. I am really excited to have this and I'll tell you the story behind this because I was definitely not planning to get this bag. <sighs> okay, so I just received this in the post. It came in this really nice box. You know, it's not the thickest box in the world, but it's really nice and it was beautifully packaged, really secure. It had this nice brown ribbon around it. Am I the only one who keeps these? I find them so useful. In fact, for the flowers that I had for my wedding day, which I just got at the grocery store, I had a really nice, I think it was a Netta Porter ribbon. Anyway, back to the bag. I saw this, I wanna say it was about two weeks ago. Yeah, about a week and a half maybe. I didn't mean to stop in at Coach, but there were a few things there that caught my eye, especially the ones with like the little vegetables and fruit all over them. I'll put up pictures, but I posted those on my Instagram. I was walking by and those things caught my eye. My inner child just loves things like that, little gardening motifs and the little radish. I just, oh, I just, I loved them, but I couldn't justify buying that bag. I saw this one though and fell in love. <laughs> my husband asked me, what is this bag going to do that your Velextra bag and your Chanel bag aren't gonna do? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> so much, honey, so much. First of all, so this bag is technically chalk. I'll tell you it cost, well, okay, this isn't how much it cost me, but it was $225. I ended up getting 30% off I was about to check out when I was at the store and the very nice sales associate there said to me, hey, just so you know, this bag is going to be 30% off next week as a, part of our, as a part of our Mother's Day promotion. So what we can do is we can take your details now and then ship it to you. You can't take the bag home today, but I'll take your details now, your credit card information, and I will ship it to you or you can come pick it up uh, when the promotion starts and and that was just such a nice thing because he didn't have to tell me that it was a really nice thing of him you know for him to do just really excellent customer service and it it does inspire this sense of loyalty so I I mean I, I get it it was it was a good move and I really appreciated him telling me that because I probably would have never known honestly I why must Stinky always cries in my videos. Anyway, <laughs> they're, they're about to get fed and so the cats always cry. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. I'm excited about this, the cat is crying. <sighs> okay. He really didn't have to tell me that it was gonna be 30% off the next week because I was ready to buy it then. I wouldn't have known, but it was just such a lovely thing and you know, I. Coach is great. They're, they really are fantastic. So if I'm wrong, I'll put the name up in the corner, but I believe this was called the Kip bag. This is one of the mini sizes. They have a size that's bigger, but I believe when they go up, the turn lock becomes the iconic C turn lock. This one is just a plain turn lock with that brush gold, like antique gold hardware clasp on both sides, this cute little top handle. So it is like a little mini satchel bag, little mini kind of like school bag, nice back pockets. I, I really like this. How it is different from my Chanel bag and my Velextra bag. If you are into handbags, it's probably obvious to you, even though it wasn't obvious to my husband. The Velextra bag is not a fantastic crossbody bag in my opinion. I love that it can be a crossbody bag, However, because the bottom is so much wider on that one, it, to me it's ideally a handheld bag, something in the crook of your arm, and then it'll just go on your shoulder and cross body when you need it to. Now, my Chanel bag, obviously, I'm very careful with it when it comes to wearing it with jeans, how I style it, thinking about where I'm bringing it, because I don't always want to stand out. It's an eye-catching bag. It's a beautiful Chanel bag in bright white. I mean, it, it can't help but grab attention. And occasionally I want something so much more subtle, something I don't have to worry about as much, 
Coach predominantly uses genuine leather. That's why they are so much less expensive. And one thing I will say for genuine leather is it's quite, I mean, it can be very sturdy. I don't always have problems with color transfer. Um, this is completely smooth. And I feel like the grains, because of the added texture, can sometimes pick up color transfer, whereas this won't. My Velextra bag, I have had to clean it off. I have had to try to clean off some denim color transfer. And I just like the idea of having a neutral cream bag where I don't have to be so worried about it. If the back of this gets the teeniest bit of color transfer over time, it's okay. It's still going to be loved and used and no one will see the back of it, honestly. <laughs> I just really like it. The moment I saw it, I, I just gravitated towards it. I immediately went to it. They had a brown and a black one, but I, I loved the cream. I've really enjoyed using my cream and white bags. In fact, I wanna use them all the time and it's not always appropriate or I'm wearing jeans and I don't have to worry about getting it stained. So this will be the perfect bag. I love that with this size, it just has the plain turn lock. I like that it doesn't have the C just because it's even more subtle. I like the C, I like Coach obviously. And I am really sentimental about Coach because these were the first special bags that we could have in my house. I remember my mom going to the outlets. She used to go with my aunt and my grandmother, like especially on Black Friday. They used to go to the outlets and they would always pick up something really special from Coach. It was usually just a little wristlet or a wallet or a little pouch or something. And that was my first special bag, like a little Coach wristlet when I was in high school. So I'm, I'm very sentimental about Coach. I remember getting the Poppy magazines and just, just being obsessed <laughs> with them. I thought they were the coolest thing. I, I thought I was uh, really hip and stylish for carrying them. So <laughs> I, I love these things. It has a nice big pocket. I still have the little uh, scent. There we go. So it's just one open compartment slip compartment in the back, a little card, can you see it? A little card slot. I can't remember if I said that it has that slip compartment in the back. So I will just quickly tell you what fits inside because I haven't used this obviously. I think this is an iPhone 8 but I'm not entirely sure this is my work phone. It won't fit down into the back pocket on its side, but you can have it sticking up. I have the Google Pixel phone without a case, and I mean, it's a smaller phone, that one also will not fit down, but it can stick up. So this would ideally be for like garage tickets, or if you just really want your phone sticking out, I probably won't use it to be quite honest. Let's see. So I have my French wallet. I do have my card holder somewhere over there, um, but it currently has all my cards in it. So this is my French wallet. It's a little bit thicker. Obviously that fits in easily. I'm going to use the iPhone to test it because it has that big OtterBox case. So it will be thicker and probably more representative of what people actually use. On my next phone, I'm definitely going to have a case. I ended up just never getting one for this and just never really bothering. So that fits quite comfortably. You can't see my phone. There you go. My phone is down in front. And to be honest, you can't really fit much else. You could fit your keys right there. There is a spot. If you have a four ring key holder, it might fit. I've never seen one in person. I've only seen people put them in their videos and it looks like it probably won't fit. I don't know. It would be a squeeze. I don't really know if that would fit in there, but just if you have a little key fob, if you have some car keys, that will obviously fit down in. A card holder would be half the size of this, so that would really open up space. My phone without the case, Things fit a little bit more easily. 
let's see about big sunglasses. I have my big Tom Ford sunglasses. Will they fit? Mm, no, it's not gonna happen. So this is a small bag, but to be honest, that's exactly what I wanted. I don't carry all that much. I did grab my little notebook just for size, because this is my opportunity to test it out as well. Let's see, does that go in? Not really, no, this is a tiny bag. And that is A-OK. -okay. I am definitely not disappointed by anything I'm like discovering right now. I mean, so it will go in. So this currently just has my phone and that little notebook. It closes, it's bulging a little bit at the sides, but not terribly. The bag doesn't look misshapen. And I can fit the French wallet in here. So the card holder will definitely fit. I don't know how many people actually carry a notebook, but I sometimes do. And that all fits in there. I like that it's a leather strap. I really liked that it had minimal hardware. All of those things really pulled me in because you can't tell that this is coach or nothing really about this bag to me sticks out except for the fact that it's a nice cream color. In case anyone's interested, this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven adjustable holes on there. I'm right in the middle and I think this fits me perfectly crossbody, but you clearly have so many different options. I'm 5'5 five five and this could fit someone much smaller or much taller than me. I think you have a lot of really great options. I also think that this is an excellent strap width for the size of the bag. I feel like a lot of the design houses, they're bringing out these really thick straps, which sometimes they work, but with a bag like this size, I don't think you need a much thicker strap. Anyway, that was all I wanted to cover for today. Thank you so much for unboxing this with me. I can't wait to use it, and I'm sure I'll do a full review soon. Bye.